Tampoco de Madrid on Japanese art. Japan was first settled by people moving from China and Korea after the Ice Age. So let's get ready to learn. This guy right here is a Jomon. They're some of the first settlers that came to Japan and were mainly hunters and gatherers, but later became farmers and built societies all around. They crafted decorated pots too. Some of the things they also made were the dogu. They were magical. Some even believed that the dogu could be representation of an alien race that came to visit the Japanese people in ancient times. And would you actually look at an modern day astronaut suit, there are a bunch of similarities, so it might be possible. But I doubt it. In 350 BC, the Yayoi period begins, ending the Jomon period. In this time, metallurgy was introduced to Japan from China and Korea. Metallurgy takes metals and makes them into copper weapons and bronze bows as such. It was used and later evolved into iron. While the Yayoi period may not be very interesting, the Kufan period certainly is. The Kufan period is named for the Kufan style tombs that the leaders were buried in long ago. They were usually shaped like keyholes and had moats around them to protect the people. They also put cool little Haniwa figurines made of such earthenware on top of these tombs. They're pretty cool and can take the shape or form of humans, animals, or any other object. It also introduced a kind of imperial system where the emperor is said to be a god and it's still kind of in existence today. But it didn't actually look like that. That's more of a Persian outlook on it. It looks more like this. Well, actually I guess more like this. And these three periods combined make up the prehistoric art period of Japan. The Asuka period comes after this, which totally overhauls the whole Japanese system, mostly because it introduces many new Chinese cultural things like religion, art, and food, but mostly religion. Buddhism first takes its roots in Japan during this period. The image shown is the Buddhist Shaka and attended bodhisattvas in the Hiyori-ja Kondo? It's made of gilt bronze and was found in Tori Bushi. Here's the Hiyori-ji compound. It's a pagoda. It was also constructed during the Asuka period takes on a lot of aspects of Chinese culture, mainly used for Buddhism. The period that follows the Asuka period is the Heian period, and oh boy did I write a lot for this one. It fully transformed the Japanese culture. In the Asuka period, the Japanese took all the Chinese ideals, and in the Heian period, they just ditched China, but they still kept their ideals. And it's almost like stealing, if you ask me. The Japanese developed their own written language during this period, but more importantly is the fact that two new Buddhist sects emerged, the Asadri and the Pure Land sect. Oops, I couldn't read my own handwriting. It was Osetric. In the Osetric sect, there were many, many gods, and the old Buddha was forged into a new godly Buddha to represent the great on. There were so many deities that cosmetic diagrams of the universe called mandalas were used to learn them. This one here, the womb of the world, is a hanging scroll made of s Many of these deities in this mandala are on fire, and they represent power and greatness and such. But they didn't actually look like this. They look more like this.
but if it were me, I wouldn't want the first god in my pictures. Now during this time, there was also an increase in military and in imperial power and politics, and many thought it might lead to a darker age, a mapo. The Pure Land sect believes that, that there was a, a western paradise ruled by the Amida Buddha, and that anyone that believes in this paradise would be able to go there sooner or later and escape this darker age. Women played a very large part in Xi'an art. Lady Murasaki created the Tale of Genji, which is considered to be the world's first novel. This tale described the aristocratic life in Japan, and a hundred years later, it was made into a hand scroll illustrated in Yamato E style, which is considered to be classical Japanese style. Another form of Yamato E style is shown in the detail of frogs and animals. This uses bold, rapid brushstrokes with little color. We now move on to the Kamakura period of Japanese art, which is sparked by some serious business between two rival clans. It came about when the Minamato clan leader, Yoritoma, defeated another powerhouse clan, the Kaira. These battles became famous in Japanese literature as well as art, shown here in the night attack on Yonsojo Palace. These events led to the Shogun being pretty much the ruler until around 1868. This may have helped spark a dramatic increase in Pure Land Buddhist sect, spreading their ideology which appealed to all sorts of people in Japan. Today, this is the most popular form of Buddhism in Japan. In a wood carving, Kuya preaching, Pure Land Buddhism is represented to the max. As you can see, this one great man is spreading his ideology, or whatever you want to call it, among the people and citizens of Japan's countryside. I hope this helped you learn a little something about the artistic history of Japanese culture. Thanks for watching.